Look at this package. 51 future Neos. And some other stuff. There's that guy. That guy. There's not much variety in here. But what there is is some really goodness. Good, good, goodness there. And another one. Oh, I love seeing that. That guy. That's different from that one. They're the same one in different different packages. Oh, another one. Oh, there's see another one. And then okay, I think that's it for those. Might be another one. There's another special. Another really good special. I don't even know what that's going for right now, but I wanted to buy the book. And my son, both like both of them were expecting me to buy it, and never did. And I may buy it now. Um, I just don't know. Oh, there we go. Another special. Oh, this is exciting. I love this. This is somebody that I bought from a lot in the beginning. And it really boosted my, my store selling. And then they just ran out of stock, so they couldn't get it. I don't know what happened, but this is the first time I got it from them this year. And I think I got it twice last year, and they're smaller than us each time. They're about like this size. And every time he contacts me, the prices are always really good. I never have to haggle or say, no, it's not going to work. I don't even know what these go for. Um, but I'd imagine there's not many for sale, because I've never seen it. Wow, I just did an Instagram post, people are gonna go crazy. All right, so I got lucky, my son wanted to do these. He doesn't really like to do these anymore for some reason, but um, so I just added the parts, the ones I couldn't rebuild into here, and I'm gonna check each one and relist. Like this one's legs had a little bit of an issue with them, so, and that, had, that led me to grab a bag. This is for my build a mini fixation. I put imperfect parts in there at times that are still usable very good I mean it's just that they don't match my pictures you know and I like my stuff to be pretty much excellent use condition on eBay when I when I sell it because I'm using stock photos for pretty much everything so I got a bag for my price minifigures and this will be my bag for on my five dollar stand so I'll start filling those up again for brick worlds in one month uh, just before four now, I'm out of here. I just got this down, it was like 197. So we got it down, placed two orders. And we, uh, tomorrow I gotta rebuild. Some of these, a lot of these I cannot build. But I, but, it's not my gun. Uh, August 24th, quarter after five, 14 items on eBay, and I have this printing out now, all my BrickLink and BrickHall orders, which we had 11 BrickLink orders, I had one big one, 212 is my, Why does it take 233, 212? Set the higher number of oh, the tax numbers in the middle. Okay, so I got 212 for 10 lots and 26 items. Let's talk about many figs there. And uh, 81 total lots here. And on Brick Owl, we just got two orders right there. All right, here are the eBay holds. Um, not much there. 50 card protectors top loaders and then two four six seven cards that's it here's what that store in Atlanta came for obviously to complete the fairground mixer <laughs> those four sticker parts there's the 10 lot 26 total item $212 purchase order awesome 
bought three out of the 14 woos I put for sale. So I have one left. Another order of stuff I just put for sale. At least those two items. And the next order. One of these guys. Before 7 a.m., last order is pulled. They bought a black sheep. This is their whole order. I get this out of the basement. I'm going to celebrate by running three miles. Humidity was off the charts today. <laughs> oh man, I'm sweaty. Time to get to work. Lloyd's still sleeping. Worked good for about a half hour, then I gotta eat. And we are going to get into some crazy stuff. I got all these I gotta process. And I have a bunch of Brooklyn orders at my desk now. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. All right, best way to tackle orders. Actually, it was only one, two, three, four, five. This was a return that I got to my PO box. So, to refund that, it's an insufficient address. And this is, this is one of those good ones. Really good ones, lots of stuff. And this is from Brick Tape Takeover in Germany or Europe somewhere. Lots of quantity of stuff. <laughs> so, and this is just one minifigure needed. So, I'm gonna start with the small stuff, these three, then I'll work to that one, then I'll do that one last because that's gonna make take up my, my desk area. Going through this Bricklink order. Um, they have a note here, uh, small bite marks on head and or neck. Print will be decent. What does decent mean? That means that the print's not affected? Print will be decent. The print is affected, folks. I mean, wow. look at that one. Small bite marks. Well, they're all, all bite marks are pretty much small, but numerous bite marks that one on the bottom is just ridiculous I guess I should have just stepped away from it but now I know this is actually a very uh, reputable seller so that actually buys for me so I'm not sure why they would sell that all right we got through those smaller orders yeah that's what we did got a couple uh, minifigs out for this bigger bulker bulkier order with lots of bulky things. So I'll get this all taken care of and might complete a few more in there, not sure. Alright, 49 lots. Uh, 152 items for it was 154.95 worth of product plus tax and shipping after that. A little bit. So here we go. Last order, then I get to this uh, other stuff all over. I gotta upload lots of stuff. Alright, so that one big order did good and there's like two I had to photograph or I will photograph at some point but gotta get these relisted right away I forgot I still had these left over from last week so I'm gonna sit here and do these it's 252 and the last one is 298 so it's at like 46 listings I'm gonna do real quick all right I believe that'll be the last time I list sports cards as singles, I don't know. There's still like two boxes I kind of have to go through. I went through them once, uh, but I'm in the process of going through every single box and, and taking these hardcover cases off them. The ones I'm not gonna sell singles, I know for sure. So that's how I got these. this batch. It was probably that much cards that I found going through like two and a half of them. And a lot of them were like two to three dollar cards anyway. I just took every Tom Brady card this one actually was the most. I think this is a goal for like five bucks, but most of them like a dollar fifty, two bucks. Most of these three bucks. Uh, so some other baseball cards were good though that I already sold. Obviously, I showed you before the that one rookie. Do I have any? Is it Shitani? Shitani? I don't even know his name. But anyway, that's it. It's one fifteen. Rainstorm coming. I'm gonna go shoot some baskets for fifteen minutes. Get some water. Have a snack. Okay, so this is like. All those for sale. All those for sale. And all those for sale. And the profits I've made on this is already is just insanely good. And uh, so there, there will be a fire sale in the future. 
I'm not, I'm not in a hurry to sell them. I'm waiting for football season to start, and then I'll start more. I'll start moving. Well, the majority of this stuff is is football in here, so um, yeah, fun. More mail. One, two, three. Bricklink orders here. This is an eBay order of parts from the Mickey Mouse mosaic. Uh, I paid like 11 bucks out the door. Let me add those real quick here. We got a calendar from Nominee Area Public Schools. We don't go to school here. We homeschool, so that's going in the recycling. So anyway, rest of today. I gotta take care of this stuff. We'll get the, I'll just do the, the mail I just got tomorrow. But I got a lot of stuff here that's really good for my store. Really good. I like this uh, comment this person has. Um, that's for this cash register duplo thing. It needs batteries, so less. I like how they have to explain why they charge less for it. 650 is less. Um, should I explain why I have 524? Why I'm charging less and it actually works? Because I want to sell it. I guess I should put it's less because I want it gone. I had to look for some hair for Officer Tom Bennett, I think his name is. I found this hair, I think it's right here. So we got a new uh, magnet. It's going to be hard to put him on. There we go. He wants to slip all over the place. There. I got this in a new package. I just decided to keep it. It's looks cool here. The magnet wall's filling up. There we go. Got some new green crocodiles, 2021. They're really nice. Croc roll, death roll. Oh, shot his head off. How many can we make? It's a beautiful mess there. I put, I put most of the stuff away as I went. And now I'm heading out of here. It's 3.53 p.m. Great numbers, absolutely great numbers. All right, August 25th here, folks. Hoping to win this auction later. Anyone else bidding on this? There's some fake stuff in here, but not not really that. There's actually fake good stuff, which I'm trying to find. There's some in this picture. Nope. Well, that, that right there is fake, those legs and that torso, obviously. And I think the helmet next to him is fake. It's hard to tell on some of them, but um, I just know there was at least 20 things fake. I don't know if that's fake. I don't, uh, I don't think that's fake. Uh, but there's some good stuff in there. It's that. Some very good stuff in there. So we'll see, 6 o'clock tonight. What I was seeing is like that Wolverine there is fake. Uh, obviously that's fake. <laughs> that's not like... <laughs> but anyway, there's a lot of stuff. I'm hoping to get it for a 300? 350? 230 figures? Probably go to 400. So we got 19 items on eBay. Forgot to pull up Bricklink again. Let's see, everything looks paid. So we have seven orders on Bricklink. For 72 lots. 800 items. So this one here, six lots for 566. I wonder what that is. And then on Brick Owl, we have six orders. Look at this one. I'm going to have to time myself on this one. It's almost just one item per lot. Can I do that in 30 minutes? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out. And so it's 340 lots total. But everything's... Oh, this is 54. That's a nice order right there. So let's get moving. Alright. We are ready to pick and roll. That's a good, that's a good saying. Um, got my a Wednesday video coming out. I talked about this before. I did three videos and they're 33, 35, 36 minutes. I want to keep them around 30. 45 minutes or longer, it just doesn't seem 
I don't know. You're fine. I mean, this one is 39 at 2.5 K views, so this was my best one in a long time. This is like the top, it's in the top five videos now I've ever done this one. It's just that clip art, I'm sure. Anyway, I got some music going, or gonna get it going, and uh, get this done. First nice brick out order of the day. Brick Owl definitely overtook Bricklink today. It is a $68 order. Those two guys are like 10 bucks each. And I bought a set of like six DVDs a few weeks ago, and all the figures are gone now. The Clark Kent, you know, yesterday. And another one, I can't remember now, but the Cosmic? No, the Nightwing Poly Bay. We came in with one, so they're all gone. Those are the last two I had out of the six or five. But awesome order. All right, here's the big one, the Brick Owl. So, I got a stopwatch here. I'm gonna try this. I'm thinking I can do seven and a half lots per minute. Not 100% sure on that. If it was one lot, one item per lot. So maybe we'll just say seven for the sake of this experiment. Um, this is a five ounce order, <laughs> not even six ounces. Um, so let's get in position. Start and here we go. I'm gonna get in here. Stop. Okay, so I just hit part number 100. It took me 10 minutes 52 seconds. So I was doing about nine watts per minute, right? Somewhere around there. So, there you go. And when it gets to the used stuff, when it's minifig parts, it actually goes faster. Because <laughs> I don't have to go into so many drawers a lot of time. There's a couple parts per drawer. In the big orders like this, so. Awesome. Alright, we're going to keep it going. 2150. Ah. All right, the last two parts are in these things. One of those, and that. Stop. Twenty. We'll say 28 minutes. It's a few extra seconds to grab the camera and make a clip. So 28 minutes even. We did the. We did it. So I gotta do some math. I'll do it on computer off camera. All right. So we had 249 lots we pulled in. 28 minutes. Divide that by 28 minutes. That's the rate we were at. So, so yeah, it's better than that. And then, so if it's eight, what do I time that by 60? 533 lots an hour is what we were at. That is fast. Why do I do this? Uh, to make Ralph feel bad? No, just kidding. To stress the importance of keeping everything close by, I always talk about this. I really do not want to expand over there, my store. I do not want to, but I will have. I will if I have to. Keep everything compact and close. And yeah, don't listen to these other stores that might tell you do not put more than one lot in a drawer, because this is what really kicks it up a notch when I get to this stuff. Some people think it's a mess and it doesn't work right. For how much you sell used parts, potentially, you know, the main purpose was to put minifig parts together and then I realized, well, I can put everything together. You just don't fill it up, like, massively high. It happens because you keep adding lots to it. Um, things like that. But if you part out a whole minifig, someone might buy the whole minifig, it's all in the same drawer. You know. Anyway. That was fun. Glad to have that one over with. <laughs> Let's get moving. And actually, oh, I got I guess I could show the order. There it is. It's that much. It won't, it won't take up it's less than six ounces. So, and these are probably an ounce, about an ounce of it, almost. Six of these. Uh, the kid from Stranger Things. I forget his name. 
I had 100 at one time. All gone. All right, shipping is out the door. I'm about to take my breakfast, hang out upstairs for a bit. I just opened up the mail real quick. This is from the German Brick Circus in Germany. And you have to spend 300 euro minimum for US shipping, but so this order was like close to $500, but it got here in less than five days, which is crazy. Um, this is from Planky Stone. This is in there. It must have a storefront. And I'm not sure what country that is. Um, another Bricklink order and another Bricklink order from out of the country as well. So I'm going to go do that stuff. And I can't tell what country that is. I don't even know. Anyway, and then I'm going to rebuild these and then go through this. And then get to the table. I got all those foil bags of minifigures I got to take care of. This is 208 euros, folks. Why did I buy it? Oh, I, I just needed an alien head, so I went to the store and got that, and then they sucked me into all this. No, not really. This figure, this guy here. The cool sunglasses head. Glasses? They're not sunglasses, they're just glasses. Anyway, I came here for the friends. I need more friends. All right, we got 15, 15, and 14, and 10. It would be nice if they put them all in separate bags. Just, I mean, just each character, four different bags, but they're all thrown into one, which is fine. Just had to piece them together, a few of them, but we got them. Wonderful. So not only do the sports cards sell, I was, uh, like I said, de top loading them uh, last week, and I still have a whole bunch that I haven't wrapped up. And these are these are lots of 50. I actually put 51 in each, and an extra one on the top. And somebody offered 10 bucks for eight of them, 80 bucks. I took it, and free shipping, and I'm paying eight bucks to ship it, hoping it fits in a regional rate box eight. So that is really good. I mean, I could literally make the money back I paid for that on selling all the top loaders if I wanted to. <laughs> but I'm selling the cards with the top loaders as a perk for that. So um, you got to protect them. Anyway, so these are the ones that I'm not going to sell singles, but I'm de taking all these out. So awesome sale there. All right, wouldn't fit in an A, so it got into a B, $11.99 shipping. So and it's going to drop it off today. Same day shipping. It's 9.30 right now. I had too much mail today that I have to drop it off, so it works for this person. Here's some eBay stats if you're interested. This is the last 31 days, 929 sold, $11.73 per item. This is some other detailed information. Uh, used items. It says my rank is number 8 out of 14,673 sellers. Sports cards, look at how many sellers there are for them, but I went right to that. I don't know if that's good or not, but and then Toys New, I'm 83 out of 14,000. So a lot of people, actually, the less people sell the new, um, but a lot of people sell them just all new. I, I can tell this by that number. And then parts and accessories, 33. Uh, and that's, and then, then pieces and accessories new, I'm 77, and the rest of the stuff is just like, oh here's another one, parts, accessories, but this is the one that I focus on the most when I use these cards that I rebuild the figures with, that's, that's the stat there. Alright, here's this order, here's the one item, one lot bags. So this is 23 lots. Get through this. Move on to that bad boy. So this is in that order. It paid three bucks. It's three dollars and four cents for these legs. Unfortunately, they have nicks in them. I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to list them this way because I had to photograph them anyway. And I don't plan on buying more, of, you know, this figure. But and solo with blue legs. I don't know if you can see that, but there's right in the middle of the hips. There's a bad one, and then just a little nicks here and there. All right, what you're looking at here is 370 euros worth of product. 
and that equals, I did the calculation, about 435 US dollars on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 items. So to get to the point I'm at, I've done many of these orders now. It's just, I know this is not going to sell in like three months, even six months, even a year. I'm going to have most of this stuff for many years, but I want to buy it again for a long time. Anyway, like who needs this many iron fist heads? Not me. But this store requires you to buy a minimum number of items just to buy the one item. <laughs> so all these I had to buy just to be able to buy one of them. So it is what it is. So to get to the point I'm at, I'm very, I very I get very excited for purchases like this. Just to be able to do that, to make these purchases, is a huge thing. Um, having capital on hand, I talked about it in the in the podcast with me and Ralph, the brick separators, which is going to be delayed a week this in September. It's going to be the second Wednesday of the month uh, because this thing didn't work out as far, and we want to make it a great episode. We don't want to rush it, so. I think that's uh, August 8th, There's September 8th, September 8th, so it's a holiday, there's Labor Day, so we get a, we get an extra week to do it, so get all these listed, here we go. All right, time to move to this area. Now I'll be uploading a lot of this just to BrickLink, done rebuilding for eBay. Um, here we go. This uh, one came with a little extra billy club, looks like. And get it out of there. Nice. I think that's to the Ralph Wiggum. I think it comes into that one. I'm not 100% sure, but extra piece hiding in there. Things like to hide in these. They say Ralph Wiggum, I meant Chief Wiggum. He does come with a dark bluish gray billy club. It doesn't look in the best condition, so I'll just put it as used. An extra 30 cents or so. All right, those are all added, that whole order. Let's see what we made. Now, I, uh, I had to break in. I didn't have any, well, I can't say that I didn't have any. I didn't look very hard. It was actually, this one should go in back right now. It's the first one that has room. Um, and I think all my, like, I had to go to those because I couldn't find any full empty drawers. So visit store, there we go. There's our number today. That entire order completed three minifigures and one became one clo part closer, so. <laughs> they got a lot of stuff from that order to photograph as well. And a lot over here. So I'm gonna clean this mess up and then I'm gonna work on this mess. What time is it, Lloyd? 11.15 a.m. We got time. I was hoping to do a very large Ninjago set today. I might get it started. I'm not sure yet. I just want to clear up this and I have two U sets that uh, were sorted by color. They're smaller too, so I'm going to probably upload those before I even do anything. I may very well upload these three and this one as well. This is a good one because it's got a lot of little parts and they sell fast, those little parts. Alright, got my price gun out because before I get starting all this, I'm going to go through this because I originally started this whole bin for Brick World 2019. And there are a few things in here that two years ago were worth different prices. So there's a couple things I'm going to take out and reprice. Uh, I just saw one of them. I'm going to, well, I'm going to look up this one. I don't know if it's worth more anymore. Um, but that was it was like 12 bucks on Bricklink at the time I priced it. Um, and it just in general, a few things are a little bit low for Brickworld because the cost of vending to Brickworld compared to like. A small thing at the mall is like five times more, actually more than that. Depends on how big your booth is. Com compared to the size of the booth, it's probably more like eight times more I have to pay just for a spot there. But it's a two day event, so that you gotta factor that into it uh, as well. You think it's a lot, but it's a two day event. Um, so there's another one of those. I'm gonna look those up. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep these in here or not because I have more of them, but let's quickly do this and then get to that stuff. I was just opening one of these to check. Two hairs, no head. Come on. I'm glad I opened it. I hope none of the other ones are like that. Alright, don't exactly remember what it looked like before, but 
It's a good to start. I'll be adding more to it. Um, probably, I want to add at least 50. I mean, here's the deal. For Brick Worlds, I'm going to, I'm going to hopefully have this plan for minifig series because I'm going to have like 100 to 150 of three different series. Display stand and just they can say what they want. I'll have the packages um, behind me and behind the desk, behind the booth that I can just grab and keep the display set up. If something sells out, they can buy the last one on the display. Uh, things like that. So I did cut up another box, another sports card box. So this, so these ones fit nice in there, but um, these wider ones don't. But um, yeah, we're good. I'm gonna put this back away under the stairs and might part out a big set. No, maybe. All right, the wall is looking extremely healthy right now. <laughs> there may be one or two small drawers not filled up somewhere. But I just took them all the way up to somewhere in here. Here's my first one I see is drawer number 2920 that has room, any room. So that is great. And there's, it's hard to get past this area here, but there isn't too many. There's just three there, two in that section, one in that one, none in that one. A one, two, three, four in that one, one, two, three in that one, one, two in that one, only one in that one bottom one so not too many this next set has over 250 lots I'm gonna do so we're up to where was it this one I gotta turn around it tells me where I left off I never use anything past there so um, we have all these numbered this middle is all full we have all these numbered which I won't need all that obviously I got it down to here still because I, I skipped ahead. I just counted ahead and started numbering the middle section here. Um, but I'm going to definitely need to number more of this. this the, the, I'll probably number all of this before I actually add this set. It might be something I'm going to do tonight. Uh, I also need to do more on the, the eBay section because uh, I don't have much room here. I'm at 208. Once I do my next set of photographs, this will be full. And I'll be breaking into this section up here. But I have a lot of small ones. I'm at 118, so I've got a lot of room for small still, but it'll probably get down to this here in another week, so that's what we do. Keep on filling it. Alright, looking good, looking good. Now what? Here we go. Right on. I'm doing it. I'll go for the biggest jobs first. I don't know what what's what that's it's about but I know this is the biggest lot count uh, I'm not sure if the keepers village because of the numbers I've had more than that but um, let's get this over there yeah so this one's not becoming close I only have 10 of these at 632 pieces so it's 6,000 pieces in this part out which I almost wanted to do today but we're not let's see what else we got give it a good look folks 14 sets 14. Do the math. Ready? 780 items. I give up. So, how many parts are we adding? We'll figure out. We'll see. But right now, this is just the main part. It's going to take me. Hmm. I don't even know. Four and a half, five hours. I'm just guessing. I don't even know how many parts there are. I think couldn't do the math on camera. It's difficult. So. Got to get going. This table is going to be transformed here in a bit. All right, took some time to show what's going on. Now, the job in itself, just to get everything out of the boxes and sorted, is a job itself. <laughs> so it's basically getting into each set, and then I'm going to sort the bags down here. So there are one, two, bag number three. Bag number four, bag number five, bag number six. And then there's uh, instructions and plastic with the stickers. And then another thing in here with two sails and a cape. It's different, they put the cape in with all that. So, that's what's inside each box. I'm into my third set, and this set has two bag twos. And no bag one. So I have four of those. Why does this happen? Seems like this is happening more and more lately. Oh my goodness. So that means it's missing 
too many figs. Ugh. So they're all opened. I just recounted. There's 13 bag ones and 15 bag twos. <laughs> Fun. I didn't. I was just doing one at a time, so I made sure it went to all of them. So they should, all the rest should be good. But I usually count them right before I part them out as well. Make sure there's 14 that I grabbed because I'm they're mixing them this pile a little together. Uh, I don't want to grab one of bag three and one of bag four and dump them all together. So there it is. So I don't know, figure out how to deal with that. Obviously, the instructions will show what's in bag one and two. Um, it's just going to take some lot longer time. It's fine if I have less uh, quantity than in the system that I actually have, but it's not good if you have, you know, you put you have 14 sets, but you don't have 14 of all these parts now. So I have to fix that. The first thing I should do every time, but I don't always do it, is I always look to see what I should keep out um, for weapons. So I usually just keep one of these books open by me as I'm doing the bag. This is this has a minifig in each bag of this, so I just need this page basically, and this page. So no. And this is where I keep my uh, sorting containers. They're just basically these, well not this brand, but taken out of the things. So I just grab them, get set up, get started. Alright, so here's bag one. Here's what I'm going to do. I thought of this. This is probably the best way to do it. So I'm going to take every part and organize it by color um, and figure out what's in, how many are in each one of each one. And so like there's, there's a brick separator in there. I'm going to do a minus one when I do the, the set and I'm going to do a plus for this bag too. So that's, I think that's the best way to go about it. I've never had this problem. So if you kind of figure things out on the fly uh, sometimes, so. Um, that's just how we're gonna have to go with it. So, black, they, get, they don't have an alphabetical, so. Um, I'll have to go back, I'll do these bags separately once I actually do all the rest of the first bag, so. Um, so yeah, so here we go, we got one of these, so we're gonna do minus one of those, and I'm gonna put it away as I do this, so I guess I can put that one in one. Um, Actually, I don't know which side that is. There's actually two of those. It has a number on here. Um, it has the part number or the, that's the number of the, the coloring as well you can find on bricks and pieces, I guess. So actually, we're gonna scribble that out and do, oh wait, no, there's one of each side in here. Come on, I gotta get off camera, I gotta do this. All right, there's what bag one looks like all on the table. Just put all like the weapons together for now. And actually, yeah, I got these next to them too. So I did all the minus thing. Now I gotta add whatever's in here to this these numbers. Well this is nice. So bag two has two of these, but I was already at negative two, so I don't have to worry about changing that at all. Scribble that out. That means I already have a spot for it. I'll bring it up here. All right, I'm taking off for the day. I did, got through bag two, kind of took it easy the last few hours upstairs a bit. And so three, four, five, and six. Bag one and two all both had two small bags, which, which really makes it take longer. That only has one. I believe this is in the size of this bag. I believe it only has one. I only see one. That one has one. That has one. So I bet you, was it 13 now of each bag? I got through that weird craziness. And I don't blame Lego for that. It could be because I bought a lot of them secondhand from, um, from eBay, so I didn't check and verify all of them, didn't open and check them. Somebody could have returned one, they got someone bought the returned one, thought it was complete, and resold it. Who knows? It doesn't matter. We've got it fixed. We'll get it fixed when I upload. So, 13 bags. I bet you these will take about 20 minutes each. Hour, hour and a half, we'll just give it 90 minutes, and those will all be put away. I'll do that in the morning after I do shipping. And here's my, uh, here's my, sketch pad 
all the pluses and the minuses. So it's not too bad, it looks daunting, but black comes up first. I'll just quickly go through all the black parts and change the numbers before I even start entering them and putting them away. So I can say that that's done and so on and so forth. So yeah, <laughs> seems like a lot of the parts, but a lot of parts on the pages. There's no, none of them are white because they're on the later bags. So, and you can see that one, two, three, four, five, looks like five of them cancel themselves out because the bag two had the parts that were missing for bag one. The numbers zeroed each other out. So until tomorrow, well, maybe. I hope to number some numbers tonight and do some photographs. So I don't have much here, but there's actually, a, oh, actually there is, this, this is a full one too. There's just one item there. So actually it's kind of a bit, I'd say about 50 items. Let's see if I get to that. Photographing is done. Not too much stuff. I got this I've been trying to sell for two years. Needs a new battery. I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, I have some in here, so tomorrow. Uh, yeah. It only takes one. Tomorrow, I'll see if I can switch that out. Because nobody wants to buy a watch that doesn't work. I need to clear out those watches. Welcome to the last Thursday in August. The 26th? August 26th here. A real slow night on eBay or day. Um, Bricklink has seven orders, which is good. That's a good number there. 302 lots. Only three items per lot, so. In theory, it should just take me over, just over one hour to pull those. And Brickow has three orders, so. Let's get moving. I got some parts to get sorted today on the table and uploaded. I think it's over 11,000 parts I'm going to upload today. All right, Lloyd, we're pulling some orders. And it's early, so let's get going. Here's the final brick owl order. <laughs> like everything lightsaber almost. Some cups, too. Here's this order. It's a few parts. has a note here. And they're in Green Bay, so I don't know if I've met them. Or if they watch the channel, I'm not sure. <laughs> Thank you for having the odds and ends of need to complete some sets. That's what Bricklink is all about, folks. And building whatever you want. So, awesome. Here's the largest piece with lot count. 70 lots, 352 items of the morning. 28 bucks, free shipping. Yes, we get free shipping. Any orders at $20 on Bricklink. It's crazy, I know. Great order. Alright, the most expensive order of the morning. Lots of doctory things going on here. Bought all those torsos that I put for sale. All the rest of them, someone else bought some before and then bought some of the Series 1 Nurse in a net. Alright, here's the largest lot count, it's like 83 or 85 lots. And we have a bonus order that came in for 22 lots there's a note oh it says uh <laughs> please don't include a packing slip or invoice or anything physical with the piece of this order in the package thanks how about this we'll just put that in there all right here's the bonus order 22 lots 24 items they bought one of the new lions that's awesome so awesome stuff so it's 7, 7 15 a.m. Get this bagged up and bubble wrapped and get all these out the door. And uh, clean things up around here. Get some more drawers on the table. Here we go. Hold on. All right, bag three is up. 7.36, I'm going straight through. My reward for finishing all this is breakfast. So. I should be done just after 9 a.m. is my guess, so I gotta go. Small bag doesn't look so small anymore. Bag three, here we go. All right, that took all of almost 35 minutes to do that bag. So I'm gonna take a quick break, get some water. 
I'm changing my uh, completion time to just before 10. <laughs> I think when I say 20 minutes per set of bags, it's, I got that from like doing 10, I think like 10 bags, like 10, doing 10 sets. That's what I've thought my general was. But this bag is so much smaller actually, the next one, than that last one. So, not so much more, maybe 20%. So we'll see, we'll see what we get. All right, bag five. This is the part where I can see the end because I only have to open up one more set of bags waiting for me down there. I can see the end. I'm losing space on the table quickly. So here we go. All right, breaking into the last bag. I, didn't, I don't have room to open up the small bags now, but we'll get there. We will get there. This is a big, big, big job here. Looking good. We are done. Longer than expected by a lot, long shot. I thought at 9 a.m. at one time, but I did stop and take my breakfast, so, you know, we're good. Let's upload it. Oh boy, we have uh, 14 of these sets all parted out and ready for upload. So I got all the black colors at first. They're up close to me. Got my tablet ready. Uh, tell me where the parts go 2586 these go into if I already have the parts in my store So I gotta See if this will fit. Oh, yeah, that'll fit Let's get it Let's try to get them all in there, which Doesn't always work There we go So yeah, we're gonna see how many parts we can get in our store now it's gonna be great. This is my uh, empty drawer set up for new parts. I just put the stickers away. Whew, it was a lot to do. I did this all by myself, no help at all. And I'm just out of practice from parting out because I've had people doing it for me for quite a while. And I'll, I'll do one set a month or two, two a month or it's smaller sets, which don't seem like I'm doing much for like 90 minutes. It's all done, out of, off the table, put away. But this was two sessions I started last night and then finish it this morning at 10.39 a.m. So let's go.